church. We praise you. Oh, we lay and work. Come on, church. Sing, oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious. We lay and worship. Psalm 2, verse 7. Let me tell you what God said next. He said, you are my son, and today is your baby. You are my daughter, and today is your birthday. Today is the birthday of our dear sister. And we are saluting the grace of the Lord that is upon her life. The mercies of God that have triumphed for her. Our father is in the house. Shall we give it to Papa? Papa is in the house. Papa, we salute you. Let me tell you what God said next. He said, you are my son, and today is your birthday. Today is an honorable day for our sister. What do you want? Name it. Nations as a present Continent as the prize. Nations as a presence and continent as a prize. We want to pray and commit our sister into the hands of the Lord. That even today be the day of a day, the Lord will give her a heart desire. That which God has intended and purposed for her before God's original intent and plan for her life even began. We want to pray that the name of our Lord will be manifested in her life. Shall we pray? 
Our Father in heaven, we give you glory. We bless you today for your goodness and for your mercy. For this is the day you have made. And the way that we should rejoice and be glad in it. We bring your daughter of Zion under the power of your spirit. That today be her day. We declare that the heavens over her life will be open. That there shall be an, an encounter from the Lord. That one more time, your handmaiden shall be moved by your spirit. And that you will catapult her to the new dimension of your grace concerning her life. That the new page in her life shall be open. As we start today, we declare that let the joy of the Lord be her strength. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit go ahead of us. Whatever has been released over the atmosphere to contend against the joy and the happiness that must manifest in this atmosphere. We override it by the hand of the Lord. We declare that let there be a, an encounter, an unusual grace that will transform your daughter of Zion. Even these days, in Jesus' mighty name, we call it done. And so shall it be. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, you can kindly take your seats. Thank you very much. We give glory to God. Hallelujah. We welcome you to this great day, fabulous 40. His Eminence, we acknowledge you. We thank God for your life. We celebrate your obedience and your commitment to the call. All of us here are results of your obedience and in the grace of the Lord upon your life. And forever we are grateful. Amen. We salute all the Bishop Emeritus and the Honorable Bishops here. I definitely feel unworthy to even um, call up to take up the MC. But by the grace of the Lord, I pray uh, that the grace that has been on my bishops, that they used to stand on the pulpit all the time, will come upon me. That I shall do a great job. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. My name is Mark uh, the son, son is S-O-N. God is my father, hence I am his son. So I mark the son, amen. I'll be the MC for today and we'll not run things quickly. It's a beautiful day. You know, it's a common statement that life begins at 40. Today we're going to celebrate memories, uh, joy, life that has passed, but most importantly, life that is about to begin. For indeed, if life begins at 40, then there are more adventures to see. There are more memories to build, and of course, there's more joy also to behold. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It's a joyous day today. Today, we are going to have fun. I, I remember Ella told me that I shouldn't emcee the thing in a way that will make it so political and solemn. She wants it to be hip. She wants it to be great. <laughs> so today, being her day, we'll definitely honor that wish. I will make it a very hip and happy day. Amen. All right. Please, uh, you're welcome. A few housekeepers rules and then our box on what we have to do. There are what we call tribute cards that will be passed down by the protocol, the beautiful ladies in uh, yellow. These cards are for anyone who wishes to give any uh, tribute during the, the time that we have here. You write your names and then uh, your relation with Ella, how long you've known her. And if we have ample time during the day, we will definitely call you up to come and also give uh, your tribute. If we are running out of time, unfortunately, we will not be able to call you up. So please uh, take note. For any other housekeeping uh, matters such as restroom or all, you see the protocol, they will duly direct you. Amen. We want to quickly uh, box on, but before we start with the tributes, I want to start with something that usually is not done. We want to invite the celebrant on stage and quiz a little bit with some trivia questions. Please, let's acknowledge uh, the celebrant of the day as she comes in, Reverend Ella Duncan Williams. <laughs> Duncan Williams King. Ten years ago, um, I met her. She tapped me on the shoulder and she told me, I will push you, okay? I didn't know the push would be that much. <laughs> anyway, blessed happy birthday. Real quickly, a few trivia questions. Um, yes. In the meantime, you can share mine. So, in all your 40 lives so far, who would you say prays for you a lot? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I think that answer is obvious. The person who has prayed for me the most in my whole life is none other Yes, we are clapping now. Papa himself has 
I remember when I was little, I didn't understand prayer and all that. And he was so calm, even when I was in boarding school. Have you prayed? Uh, yes, Papa. <laughs> no, you have, girl, you have to pray. So I'll get up, I'll do some five minutes. Then he'll call back, did you pray? Yes, Papa, I prayed. How long did you pray? Papa, five minutes. No, try and push, push. <laughs> So, Papa, thank you so much. It's by his prayers that, honestly, that I am standing here today. So, God bless you Hallelujah. so much for all the prayers. Great. So, yes, he is definitely the one who has prayed for me the most. And who would you say has also had your back the most? Uh, it's the same person. It's now. the same person. <laughs> okay, how about this? In, in all your life, who would you say is, who would you describe as crazy? The most craziest the most person. Crazy person in my life. That's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it together. <laughs> Let's put it together for Lady Elsie. <laughs> Let's put it together for Lady Elsie. <laughs> All right. How about it? And who would you think would think you as the most crazy? The, they think I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Lady Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the celebrant, Fabulous 40. We will definitely have more questions um, okay. as we box on. I think we have some t-shirts. So. Yes, yes. And please, for anyone whose name comes up in any of the trivias, you have a t-shirt uh, also that you take with you home. So I don't know if you are wishing that your name will come up or not, but maybe you pray that your name comes up in some of the best places. Amen. Please, we'll turn our attention to the screen as we take some tributes from others who could not make it here. Please, your attention to the screen. Thank you very much. Day, Reverend Ella. I thank God for your life. Thank you for being amazing. I pray that may the peace of God be transcend all understanding be always your portion. May God richly bless you. Much love. Amen. 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 Uh, just a quick announcement and then we'll box on. We're going to have a beautiful dance presentation by the children of Reverend Ella Duncan Williams King. But before that, just so you know, we are currently live on Ella Duncan Williams on YouTube. Hallelujah. Thought you would clap to that. We are broadcasting live all around the nations of the world. And we'll call up. If the music is ready, I would like to quickly call up the special dance group to come up on stage and give us a nice performance. Please, let's appreciate them and encourage them as they come up. A beautiful dance presentation. All right. Music cue.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There are many more nice performances like that uh, to come in a great time. And surely more uh, tributes to come. Um, Reverend Ella Duncan Williams King, I will call you again for a few sets of trivias. <laughs> the first one seemed quite moderate and easy. Please, can I get uh, one of the microphones, please? It's, it's there on the, on the table. Amen. Please. So let me specify this question. Outside your family, who is your oldest friend? Just pick from those who are sitting here because I can't think. <laughs> and definitely it's Binky. Yeah, his hand was already up. <laughs> Binky, please stand up. Please, B please stand up. Let's see you. Yeah, Binky will be the one I've known the longest. Interesting, interesting. How about this? So please make sure he gets his, his prize. Yes, Binky, okay. your name came up, so you deserve a t shirt. Congratulations to that. Which one is looking at me some way? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were you were the winner. <laughs> I, I honestly I can't tell. Okay, who would you say um, admires you most? Admires me the most. Yes. Mm. Please, if the shoe fits, just raise your hand so I just <laughs> call your name. Uh, okay, Ariana. <laughs> One, two, three. Ariana, Happy you. birthday, Happy Auntie Ella. Ella. I just want to share something quickly before I let you say that we go to the tribute. So, um, 10 years ago, Ella was the general manager of Dominion TV. And um, it's 2024, December. We're having impact and TDJs is coming around. She's managing the bookshop also and literally managing um, Papa's book. It was yet to come out at that moment. I think it was um, Powers Behind the Scenes. She needed to coordinate all that. And so, Dominion TV contracted someone to look after um, Impact 2024. And it looked as though the person contracted was sort of usurping too much. 2014, sorry, 2014. It seemed the person uh, contracted to handle Impact was, I would say, usurping more power than usual. And the staff were getting, was getting confused as in who is really the boss. And this information reached Ella. I don't know if you remember. She called a very short meeting, a meeting that lasted about five minutes. And she said two things only. She said, I hear that you guys are wondering who is the boss and which channel you should follow. Then she was quiet. Then she asked the next question. Where does your salary come from? <laughs> the place was quiet. And she said, so follow that channel. <laughs> Please, let's give it up for a celebrant. Reverend Ella Duncan Williams. <laughs> it's just great. Her directness, her bluntness, and her honesty is something you cannot uh, go against. You can never, ever, ever, ever forget. I never forgot that day. It's been in my heart since. And I took a, I took a note out of that, that always follow the channel that your salary comes from. It's always the safest channel. Amen. Please, attention to the screen. We'll take a few other tributes, and I'll be back to box on with the show. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Auntie Ella. What do you want to tell your Auntie Ella? We love you. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Auntie Ella. In Florida. Yes. And do what in Florida? And come to Disneyland. Celebrate your birthday with us. Oh, Nick, can you blow her kisses and say have the best birthday? Have the best birthday. I wish you come to Disneyland in Epcot in the house and we play. Oh, that would be so fun. That would be so fun. Play with the daughters. Yes. Ella, I love you. You're my dear, dear friend in the whole entire world. I cannot believe you are embarking on a new decade. This decade is going to be full of grace, victory, and joy. I cannot wait to see what God does in your life in this season. I'm wishing you the very best, happiest 40th birthday. 
You don't look a day over 21. I love you with all my heart. You're my sis forever, and I'm celebrating you all the way from America. Wish I could be with you in Ghana. I love you, sis. Happy, happy birthday. I'm celebrating you all the way from America. Wish I could be with you in Ghana. I love you, sis. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, la. We love you. We miss you. We wish you a happy birthday. May God bless you. It's a new year for you, and we're so grateful to have you. We love you. We love happy you. birthday, la. We love you. We miss you. We wish you a happy birthday. May God bless you. It's a new year for you, and we're so grateful to have you. We love you, we love you, we love you. In Lingala, we say, Wumela. Wumela to Lingio. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of, you have a lot to do. So, mm. may God give you resources. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I used to head Dominion Bookshop, and then also from some from the corporate office, and then some from every other person. Um, the ones you like and the ones you don't like. And I asked them questions about you, and then they gave some response, interesting response. So uh, the first was easy if anybody could actually mention your full name, and just about everybody knew you are uh, Emanuela. Somebody asked, actually added a four. Duncan Williams King. Now, I asked them, if Ella was the president of Ghana now, how do you think she will run the country? Somebody says that she will fire everybody. <laughs> Ma majority of the results actually were saying that no nonsense, no corruption, anybody who fools will be fired immediately. <laughs> And then we, I asked them if, um, looking at Ella's character, which day of the week do you think she would be born or she should have been born? Somebody said, definitely Ajua. For her directness and no-nonsense nature, she should be called Ajua instead of any other day. Amen. And then um, I, I also asked, give me a second, let me fish uh, this one out. If they had the opportunity to tell Ella something that you will never know who said that, what would it be? And this was what really surprised me because this is like a blank check to say anything you want to say to Ella. These are some of the results. It says, girl, you know God got you. Somebody said, thank you for giving me an opportunity to work with you. It's a privilege. Another person said that you have a beautiful smile. And strangely enough, there was actually no negative comment. I think you deserve a hand of applause for that. If you have people who can say things about you where you will never know who they are and they say things like this, I think it's beautiful. God richly bless you. If it's not too bad, I've, I've not gotten the signal that the dancers are ready. So if you're not so much, they are ready now. Please, let's welcome the dancers back to stage to give us another wonderful uh, performance. Please, let's appreciate them with a hand of applause and encourage them. Give it up, give it up, give it up.
Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Oh, somebody, I appreciate them. I appreciate them. I know if I'm called to come and do what they did here, hmm, Jesus is Lord. I wouldn't be able to do much. So I would like, please, let's appreciate them one more time. Amen. Amen. I hope you're enjoying yourself. It's fabulous 40. We're celebrating Reverend. Ella Duncan Williams King on her 40th birthday. And um, I would love to call the Celebrant's family to come and give us some special uh, tributes. It will be led by Lady uh, Reverend Elsie. <laughs> I knew she would say that. So please.
please, please, let's appreciate her as she comes in. Please mind your cup. Please, let's applaud them. Let's appreciate them. Yes. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Amen. Hello? All right. Thank you all for coming today to help celebrate with Reverend Ella. Um, I will speak on behalf of Joel and Daniel, who are not here right now, but they wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday and to let you know that you are a wonderful, wonderful older sister and they love and adore you. Um, I will let your girls, Ari and Emma, say something before your nieces. Something quick. Use one word to describe mommy. One word. Happy birthday, mommy. Aww. <laughs> Princess Emma. Thank you for being also for, to us. Wonderful. And your nieces. So let me start with Miracle. When I was pregnant with Miracle and I had her, she and Ella were inseparable. When Ella gave, when Ella conceived with Ari, this one was not having it. <laughs> she was so upset. When Ari came, she was like, oh, we're from this baby. So use one word to describe your auntie. Oh, she's the best auntie in the world. discipline out of your head and give her a nice one. <laughs> and I do know she loves me. I know she can rap. I told her the other day, I know she loves me. I know she can rap. She can rap. <laughs> I said, oh, she makes the best chicken wrap. Actually, I know she can rap. Oh, okay, okay. Well, great, great. Chrissy? Thank you. And last but not least, Zozo. She's very nice and helpful with everything. Aww, <laughs> All right. So, hello, we love you. We appreciate you. Girls, have a seat. Reverend Ella, have a seat. For me, I know there's a saying that says, some friends are closer than blood, but in my case, I'm truly happy to be able to say that my sister has truly become my best friend. I remember last year when I was on my bed of affliction, Reverend Ella stood by my side day and night, making sure I would not leave this earth without fulfilling my purpose. She held my kids together like they were hers and fought for me when I could not fight for myself. Today I celebrate you and want you to know that I love you and there's nothing or no degree of sacrifice I would not go through as your older sister and I will continue to strive to be your safe place and protect and guide you in the best way I know how with God's help. I am happy about the woman you have become, the extraordinary mother you are, and more importantly, the wise daughter that you are to our father. Ella, continue to rise, excel, prove your doubters wrong, and experience many, many more years of sweet victories. I love you more than I could ever express. And Ella has requested that I sing the goodness of God, so I will do that quickly. <laughs> Miss Annie, let's roll.
been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close and like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness So my life you have been faithful. You so my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able. I will sing of the goodness of God. Your it's running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my life lay down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, I, I used to sing beautifully myself. <laughs> oh, it's true. But then when I got out of the bathroom, something changed about the acoustics and then the sound system. Suddenly my voice wasn't sounding as good and I gave up on my singing career. <laughs> hallelujah. It's fabulous. For oh, hallelujah. Please, the um, Bible says it's more blessed, uh, there's more blessing in giving than receiving. We are 
actually going to take our offering. And then when we do that, we will invite um, Ella up for a few trivias. After that, our brother Kofika Kare would sing for us to prepare the way. And after he's done singing, the next voice you would hear would be the one and only His Eminence Archbishop Nicholas Anthony Williams. Please help me invite, um, but until then, to take the offering, please help me invite to the stage Bishop Dicky Sandor. Thank you very much. Bishop. Let's, uh, let's actually appreciate um, the event today by just thanking God for the life of Ella. Ella, we will all wish you the very, very best. And uh, 40 is just the beginning. And we know that the next decades ahead of you will be awesome. Let's put our hands together and thank God for her life. In atmospheres of celebration, when we gather like this, we come to express and extend our best to the celebrant. But at the same time, too, we express gratitude to God for blessing us with a gift such as this. And one of the ways to appreciate God and to thank him is not only in our toda and our, our praise and all that, but in also giving to him. To say, Father, thank you. I was so inspired by the, um, what the MC said about the feedback from those he interviewed. And Ella is a good woman. We appreciate you. And let us show that. Let's give to God and thank God for the blessing that she is in Jesus. So we have an offering basket or envelope under how we're doing this. Uh, let's do this very quickly. Okay, there we go. And then we can begin to simply pass it around to us. And then we can um, we can pray over it. And then whilst we do, let's have a song. Let's minister to God. Keep the atmosphere celebratory. Amen. But this is us saying to God, thank you for the life of Ella. Hallelujah. All right. Music. So we can pray over after we've collected the offering.
Eternal Father, we thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the gift of your handmaiden. As we have given today, we pray that may the spirit of celebration, the spirit of joy, may all that will create a path and a way for those who have sown into her life to receive the grace, the blessing, the anointing, the joy, and the recognition of this place today. We bless your offering. We receive it with gratitude in Jesus' name everyone should say amen. Thank you very much, Bishop. Please kindly have your seats. I will kindly call the celebrant um, up to stage with me for a few trivias and an opportunity to also win a t-shirt for those of us who may have our names mentioned. Hallelujah. Please, let's, let's welcome her. Oh, with a round of applause. We are celebrating her today. It's interesting we sang uh, Too Good. Though. There's a story behind that song, how you got the inspiration. Ah. Maybe you want to share that uh, yes, with us. Uh, it's a very interesting story, actually. I was sitting in traffic around Ajingano, and so <laughs> it's true, that's what happened. So I was in the car, we were coming to the church, and there was a pickup truck who was reversing into the road, and there was a big hole, and the driver didn't see the hole. And so he reversed, and some way, somehow, his back tire entered the hole, but he was still able to go forward. And, and I said, oh my God, God, you are too good. And then the song just came. That's how it wow. came. Wow. Ghana Road System. Yes. Amen. Amen. Please, since we're talking about songs, who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer? Osafo. <laughs> My favorite singer is right there. Oh, wow. Let's appreciate him. Also for Ka Kofi Kofi Kari. Kari. Is it Kakari or Kari Kari? The two. Okay, amen. There's a controversy around his name. I'm always fighting with Mark over. We always Mark, he said the that. name wrong. It's not Kakari. It's Kari Kari. She yeah. says it's Kari Kari. I say it's Kakari. And we <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, well, if he's your favorite singer, what is your favorite song? My favorite song, actually... Forgive me, it's not a Christian song. <laughs> it's actually from Sing 2. My kids know Sky Full of Stars. It's my favorite song. I just love the song. Okay. It's called A Sky Full of Stars. Okay, okay, yeah. that's nice. Please, do you like local food, Ghanaian local food? Yes. Oh. Which is your favorite and why? Um, I think Red Red. Wow. <laughs> Bishop Esando, I should have said Wache for you. I should have said Wache for Bishop Esando. I think because it's the one I can cook. <laughs> so. Governation. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
finally, finally, what is your uh, favorite thing to do? What is your favorite thing to do? Currently? Yes. Guys, what's my favorite thing to do? I heard somebody say it. Sleep, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's appreciate the celebrant. Please, come on. <laughs> Fabulous birthday. Interesting. Sleep is the least favorite thing of mine to do. From where I work, the pressures I get, I doubt if it can be a favorite thing. In fact, it's safe that I don't sleep a lot. Amen. <laughs> Please, um, I'm going to invite our brother Kofi, either Kakari or Kari Kari, whichever nation you roll with, to give us a special song. And after that, the next voice you will hear is none other than His Eminence, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Please, Kofi. Praise the Lord. Inti oni papempo, oni papempo ni wo, and from anina tie wo na swache so tie wo ne a wo. Oh, yeah. 
One more time. Me free my come and say, me free my come and yes, we me shine away. Oh, as I say, me now I see you now. Free the ones I know you may not. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. As I say. Every voice lifted unto Jesus. May thou was you, may thou was you, may thou was you. Go be and say, Amen. He couldn't be in ye, Amen. Ayada Rabashanam. Be brain, now I am a mule, yes, Amen. Had it not been for the Lord on our side, had it not been. For Jesus, where would we have been? Where would we have been? Me now as
Oh, come on, church. If you have a voice, you want to lift it unto Jesus. Lift up your voice. Please be seated. Thank you, thank you for coming. Everyone that is here to celebrate and to show love and appreciation to God for the life of Ella. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have taken notice of every one of you who came. forget this. One of the things that I realize as I'm growing and maturing is the fact that I spend and give a lot of my time to the church. dad didn't teach me how to raise kids and how to love kids. We didn't have that kind of a relationship, so I have to learn the hard way. And I'm getting better uh, as I mature and appreciate it things that I should have done decades ago. And so when I see things like this and I see members of the flock running around my kids, it makes me feel and believe that I didn't waste my time in <laughs> investing and fighting for all of you and for your children. So thank you for being there for my kids and fighting for them as I have fought for you and your children. Thank you. Um, somebody said to me the other day, and they said, Papa, what is the secret of success? And I said, I'll put it this way. The 
key or the secret to lasting success. Because everybody can be successful, but whether it, it will last or not is another matter. And to have a lasting success, uh, there's a lot that goes with that. And I concluded that the secret of lasting success is suffering. Suffering. And that's what I want to tell Ella. Now, life is not fair. And life doesn't give you what you desire or wish for. But it gives you what you fight for. And the fight goes on till the day you check out. So fight, my girl, fight. <laughs> Learn the skill to fight. Life is never going to give you what you want. It's always going to be a fight. I have fought from my mother's womb when we were twins and she was anemic and they have to perform a DMC and they took my twin away and I survived. So my fight began from my mother's womb. And all my life, I fought for everything. Nothing has come on a silver platter for me. I'm still fighting. But I win. I win. If you fight, you win. And I said to this guy, I said, lasting success is a product of sufferings, shame, shame. The Bible said Jesus despised the shame for the joy that was set before him. A lot of people don't really make it in life as they ought to because they can't handle shame. And they can't deal with suffering. And suffering is pain. They can't deal with pain. And the Bible said that though Jesus was a son, yet lent he obedience through the many, not through the suffering, through the many things he suffered. Jesus suffered many things. And we will suffer many things. And the Bible says, with much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of God. <laughs> Fight, troubles. They are part of this walk with God and this walk with Jesus. If anybody tells you that, oh, serving Jesus, you know, it's all happy and joy and peace, now lie. Paul says, the fellowship of his suffering. And the Bible said, if we suffer with him, we will reign with him. A lot of preachers don't want to talk about these things. Though. But I'm just telling you. I mean, sometimes when I see preachers, and they are making it look like everything is roses. And they never have any challenge. And throughout the whole year, is joy, 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 joy. I just look at them and I say, don't worry, brother. Keep lying. Jesus himself had to deal with sufferings. He had to deal with pain. He had to deal with rejection. When he said, Eli, 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 Lama Sabatani, my God, my God, why have thou fallen? That was healthy dose of rejection. That feeling of God has forsaken and he was separated from his father. So every now and then, that feeling of feeling alone and being separated comes every now and then, but you got to master it then. You got to learn to master those moments. Master. Jesus dealt with rejection. He dealt with shame. He dealt with pain. And the antidote to pain is prayer. James 5.13. Is there any among you suffering in pain or in affliction? Let him pray. You pray till you don't feel the pain. You pray till the suffering ends. That's it. 
it, 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 it's the fact of it, and I'm not going to lie to you as your dad. I'm just going to tell you, suffering Anybody who has succeeded in this life and have a lasting success suffered something. Then the other thing God dealt with, Jesus dealt with, and all of us will deal with it, and you, got, you will deal with it, is betrayal. Jesus was betrayed. David was a man after God's own heart. He was betrayed. You and I are tilapiers. Compared to what these people went through, David said in Psalm 55, he said, if it was an enemy that did this to me, I could have handled it. But it was you, my friend, my counselor, a man my equal, we took sweet counsels of God together. We walked to the house of God together. We ate in the same place together that have lifted up his or healed against me. That is betrayal. And it's part of our work with God. So at 40, you've come of age, girl. And this is the time to learn mastering. Mastering. Because life is complicated and sometimes you'll be alone. And you must learn to walk alone. The Bible said, Looking unto Abraham, your father, I called him alone, alone. Jesus said, there will come a day when all of you will leave me. But he said, he that called me is with me. There was a time when Jacob was going back home. And when he was alone, his wife and children, security, everybody had gone ahead of him. And he was alone. And God said, this is the time I've been waiting for you. I'm going to wrestle you, boy. I'm going to deal with you, wrestle you. And I'm going to show you how to stop leaning on the arm of flesh. And I'll break you. And take away your dependence on self. And you will limp learn not to lean on your own strength, but to lean on the everlasting arm of Adonai. So there come a time when God will break you. And he breaks you not because he don't like you. He breaks you so that your confidence and faith and trust will be in him and you will not trust in yourself or in your skill nor in, your, in the arm of flesh. And until you come to a place where you are literally empty of self and of ego and that every day of your life you got to look up and lean on the everlasting arms of almighty God and say God I have nothing all I have is you without you I'm nothing it is when you come to that level that you can be filled of him his presence will fill you and whenever you stand to do anything presence of Almighty God will be with you. And that is where God will fight for you. He will fight for you. And he will kill for you. I've seen people die because of me. And they don't even know why they died. I've seen a lot. There are things I will never talk about till Jesus comes. So my girl, 40, it's a big number. At 40, the sufferings of the wilderness came to an end. At 40, when they came into the promised land, no more manna. Manna ended. Now they have to find, make use of the skills they've acquired all those years find the giants. Before then, before 40, they've been dealing with tilapias. Now it's time to kill giants. So slay your giants. Slay your giants. 
have divine capabilities. Slay giants. Slay lions. Take your promised land. Possess your inheritance in the Lord. Fulfill your purpose. Fulfill your purpose. And may everything God has spoken of you in eternity before time began come into full effect without fail. The Lord make good unto you his promises. His promises. And let there be a performance of every word spoken of you by the mouth of the Lord in eternity before time began. Let there be a performance of God's original intent and word concerning your life. Let that which is out of alignment come into alignment. And let anything that is crooked where your life is concerned be made straight. Let the valleys, those deep areas of your life that nothing can fill, let the valleys of your life be exalted. And let the rough places be made smooth. The Lord remember you on this day and on your 40th. The Lord remember you according to his original intent. The Lord remember you for good and perfect everything that concerns you. The Lord bless them that blesses you. And let it be well with them that wishes you well and ill with them that wishes you ill. The Lord plead your cause with them that strive with you secretly and openly. The Lord grant you an upper hand in every work of life, in your sleep and when you are awake, in your going out and coming in. The Lord grant you an upper hand. The Lord restore your health and heal your wounds. Let your fortunes be restored. Let your stolen goods be returned unto you. Recover your wasted years. Recover lost grounds. And now let your future be altogether beautiful and greater and even better than your past. The Lord make it up to you and compensate you for all the pain and the sufferings you've been through. From the days of your youth at 40, Rise to the challenge. Rise and shine. My daughter, rise and shine. Soar as an eagle. Soar as an eagle. Mount up with wings as an eagle. Climb the mountains. Climb the mountains. For there are many challenges in the way. But with Jesus, climb higher. Ella, climb higher. Climb higher every day. Climb higher every week. Climb higher every month. Climb higher every year. Climb higher every decade. Climb higher and higher and higher. See the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord grant you sweet victories. And grant you an upper hand. Always by all means. Now the very God of peace. Give you peace always. By all means. The Lord deliver you by all means and cause you to see the fulfillment of all that his mouth has spoken of you by all means in the name of Jesus. Be thou blessed and let no one curse you. Let the tongues of those that have risen in judgment against you be silenced. Let every mouth that speak ill of you be shut. And let the voice of him that whispereth against you be mute. But as for thee, be blessed beyond measure. Let your horn be exalted above the horns of others. And let no one contend with you in life and succeed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be blessed and you cannot be cursed. Break through the clouds. Break through resistance. Break through opposition. Break through on every side. 
The Lord comfort you on every side. Make you stronger than your enemies. Talu kawahalas. And increase you. And make you a woman of great substance. Today, let your prophetic instincts be activated. Let the prophetic mantle come upon you. And have a seeing eye. And have a hearing ear. Like never before. See like you've never seen before. Hear like you've never heard before. And above all, above all, be in good health. Have a sound mind. Endure. And outlast. Outlast those who strive with you. Outlast them. Daughter of Zion. Outlast them. Outlive them. Mulaya mutakand. Dekalanka wasunt. Kifalangu dulu wasa. Ayalindu kuwahasin. Ila mahada kuwalina mus. Mutandu kawahasalan. Ifalaku kiwan tuum kuwalingu dulu kusalea. Bela kawasati. Arise and shine. Happy birthday. God bless you. Congratulations. Let's, let's appreciate our father once more, please. That is the love of a father and the heart of a lion all together as one. You can kindly have your seats, please. Thank you very much. Brakofi, I want to worry you a bit. You can't be called the favorite singer and not say anything but sing. You've known Ella. Please come. Please come. I won't bite. <laughs> You've known Ella for quite a while. Please, I want you to look at her and then tell her something on your 40th birthday. Praise the Lord. Woman of God, you know how much I honor and love you. You are such a gift to me um, ever since we've met. We've had our fights. <laughs> yeah, from church services to the house. I mean, we've had several fights and God has been so good. I mean, we've learned a lot, both yourself and I. It's been a beautiful learning curve. And I just want you to know that in this decade that is ahead of you, I know that the Lord will do you good. Because you are a good woman. You know, on countless times, you spend time in my house and there are so many powerful things you've said that I've seen the Lord bring to pass. And I just want to say, God bless you. I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. We will, we will take a tribute and then a slideshow, and then we'll have a toast. But let me take the opportunity also as the MC and say something little from my heart to um, a person I consider as my big sister. Uh, Ten years ago, um, I met Reverend Ella. Duncan Williams King, and you, you probably wouldn't know it, but you've been a destiny anchor for me. You've shaped my character in a way that I don't know how anybody can tell. I can't tell my story in any way without uh, mentioning you. I didn't apply to be in Dominion TV. It was in 2012, 2013. Papa was preaching, and he mentioned that he would is going to start a TV station. I sat there within the crowd and I said to myself, how I wish I would work here. And then I quickly dismissed myself because I had no technical knowledge then. So I said, Mark, stop dreaming. It won't come to pass. 2014, I have the opportunity to uh, work with Ella as the graphic designer, designing um, DVD covers for Papa's sermons. And since then, Ella has been pushing me with one position here and there. And I said, please, I know action. I don't want any position. <laughs> because in action, eh, when you're promoted, Jesus is Lord. So I've told her, <laughs> I don't want all that. Three times she kept 
pushing me, Mark, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. And I have this trick that I think she learns and then she overcame me. I always tell her, give me three days to think about it. I've come to learn that you don't say no immediately. If you say three days later and later, you come back and say no. It's more gentle than saying no. So I, I was saying that. And then October, it was actually September 2014, uh, Ella posted vacancies at Dominion TV. And one hour to the time when the vacancies would end, she called me and said, Mark, haven't you seen the vacancies? I said, yes, I've seen it. I said, so? I said, so? <laughs> She said, don't you want any? I said, no, I'm okay being a graphic designer at the bookshop. And she said, okay. An hour later, vacancies are closed, and I see a blast email, and I see my name. There as in Dominion TV. And I quickly called her. I said, ah, but Ella, she said, yes, I've decided, and it ends here, and this time you don't have three days to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and since then, she's been my anchor. She's been my support. She's helped me character. She told me, Mark, we are all learning on the job. And learn and then be your best. And today, I can't tell my story without mentioning you. Thank you very much. And happy birthday. If the video is ready, we will take a tribute. And then an interesting slideshow that will take us through uh, the lives of Ella in photos. A uh, short slideshow. And after that, we'll box on with what we have. Please pay attention to the uh, screen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Reverend Ella. I just want to give thanks to God for your life. And I thank God that he has brought you this far to this beautiful milestone. And I thank God that he allowed us to cross paths. You have been nothing but a blessing to me. You have impacted me spiritually. You have been there for me emotionally. And I've learned so much from you about being a godly mother for when that time comes. And we've shared some beautiful memories with the children, which I'm so grateful for. You have always treated me like family and basically been like that sister that I always wished that I had. Um, and my prayer for you for this next phase of your life is that God will anoint you with fresh oil to fulfill your ministry and equip you with all that you need to fulfill the purpose that he has ordained for your life. And I pray that he will use your voice to bless nations for his glory and may God just strengthen you and fill your mouth with laughter and your heart with peace and joy and may your health be covered from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus name and I just look forward to sharing many more beautiful memories with you in this journey called life. Um, I love you and I appreciate you and I celebrate you on this day. Happy birthday! Mwah.
Hallelujah. Wonderful. We all have beginnings. Amen. Please, we are gradually bringing the beautiful cake. And then I will respectfully invite uh, the family led by His Eminence, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, to accompany her as uh, they I cut the cake. And after that, we'll have a toast also to the celebrant. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. What a beautiful cake. Yes. Please bring the cake close. Yes, fine. Yes. Someone here. Oh, somebody appreciate God. Appreciate God. It's a beautiful cake. So, um, respectfully, I will invite His Eminence, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and the family to accompany um, the celebrant for the cutting of the cake. Hallelujah. Come on, let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. standing members of action. Do you remember how many years since? Four. That's 40 years. 40 years. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the honor. Come on. She's my girl. <laughs> Tell them to say, don't be jealous, you. <laughs> How many years have you been here and you want to be my girl? <laughs> She's singing happy birthday, a nice high lifestyle as she cuts the cake. So the song ready.
another interesting and important part of the day as we are closely getting close to the end um, of this uh, celebration. Now, I am told that someone has prepared a special accent to use to propose the toast. Please, without further ado, please help me invite to propose the toast, Bishop Johnny Ahiati, to come and propose the toast. With a special accent, please. With a special accent. Note that. Hallelujah. What a shock. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, today's occasion is very special. And um, our celebrant has specially requested that a particular accent be used. So, ladies and gentlemen, from now onwards, here we go. Hello. Is everybody here? Hello. <laughs> uh, today is a very special day. I would like to celebrate the goodness of God and the wondrous works of God in the life of our sister. Today, Ella is 40. Somebody say yes. I remember so vividly, not too long ago, when we were all about 10 years, 15 years, and um, in the house, every now and then something will happen, and somebody will threaten somebody, and they will go to the back of the house, and say, we are carrying the person to the generator, Papa used to have these big plants in the house, and it made a lot of noise. And anybody who misbehaved was sanctioned and sent to the generator side. Lady Elsie, where is Elsie? Okay, you remember the generator? Yeah, in the house. And whenever something happens, you pour in there, you go to the generator. <laughs> um. Papa said something very powerful to uh, my sister. Life begins at 40. And at 40, everything and anything becomes possible. The little I want to say is life only yields to those who persist. I've watched you have seen you in your moment of difficulty, in your moment of pain, you never yielded, you always persevered, and here you are today, looking better, stronger, greater, and mightier than you used to be. It can only get better. As the bottles are brought, we're going to shake them the force with which those drinks pop out. Oh, they've, they've popped them already. Yeah. That is the force with which your life is going to spring forth. Nothing will unblock you. And nothing will stop you. And nothing will block you. You can only prevail. I always pray God will take you where you must get to. And I see it. It's happening. And it's going to happen. Baba, let your heart be at peace. Let your heart be at peace. It will happen in your lifetime. And you will see it with your eyes. In the name of Jesus. I want you to help me if it is possible. If you can please be on your feet as we lift up these glasses. Ella, on this special day of your birth, on this auspicious occasion, <laughs> as we
we lift up these glasses above our heads, so do we declare that your life will be lifted above every limitation. As we take sips of this drink, so may your life be refreshed and may life seep through every aspect of your being. May you become a sign and a wonder. So ladies and gentlemen, at the sound of the seventh hippie beep, we will knock our glasses and we will drink to the health, the strength, the future and the greatness of Reverend Ella without fail in the name of Jesus. So ladies and gentlemen, hippie beep, Hip hip hip. 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 And the last one, Chobai. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to as you continue to take your sips, something very unique is going to happen on the screen. Please pay attentive attention to the screen and you will be blessed. Amen. And remember, food is going to be ready. Our food is ready, actually. As soon as we are done with the screen, we are going to attack the food. In Jesus' name. Amen. Attentive attention. Profu. Amaga. Eliho. Apak. Greetings to the whole world. Have you heard of our latest movie titled A Taste of Sin? It's, it's, it's trending all over the place. A Taste of Sin, the star-studded Ghanaian movie featuring Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams is making waves everywhere. Oh my God! <laughs> Everyone is talking about it. In its first week of release on Netflix, reaches top 10 in Nigeria, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Kenya, and Trinidad and Tobago. I really, really put my heart and soul into this. If you didn't get a chance to watch it in the cinema, here's a chance. Run to your TV sets and watch a taste of sin. Forgive it. Father, may your enemies die. Amen. I command fresh oil on your head. Amen. This will enlighten, illuminate you, help you not to take things for granted. A taste of sin. Watch it. Man, a taste of sin. I have watched the movie three times and I still can't get enough of the advice in it. As our papa said, we are all called to our separate paths. That moment, you just have to watch it to know it. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, interestingly enough, we are uh, drawing the curtain over what has been a beautiful day. Um, I hope you have enjoyed yourself. I certainly have uh, enjoyed myself. I would want to invite the celebrant probably one more time uh, to the stage to respond to the toast and everything that has gone on. Please, can we appreciate her as she comes? So uh, she will take the boat of tongues, and then there's, there's, let me give this announcement so that we can just go quickly. So the food is ready. Uh
Um, when she's done with the vote of thanks, we'll have a closing prayer. And after that, respectfully, uh, the family would move to the photo area to take a picture. Of course, there'll be food around also for everybody. Um, let's allow the family to finish taking their picture and then anybody else can go ahead and have a time uh, with them. Please, before we go, this is the only time I can get to throw Trivers at you and then go free. Other times it might not be so. So let me ask, um, what has been the most special time for you in this whole day? The whole day? Yes, this whole day. Prayers. The prayers messed me up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. As you can tell from my face right now. Yes. The prayers and the worship time. Yes. Let me ask, um, which person do you wish knows just how much you love um, them or him or her? Oh, wow. Uh, definitely my kids. I hope they know how much I love them. Mommy loves you. And then finally, <laughs> before you give your vote of thanks, please, who do you think is afraid of you most? Oh. <laughs> In the whole world. Yes. <laughs> it will be, oh, Mr. Gash, for now. <laughs> it will be, <laughs> he raised his hand. It's not true. It will be, <laughs> oh, Rev. <laughs> it will be either Amnel or Michael from Operations. <laughs> Rev, I will believe it's Reverend Amnel because every time we are called that we have a meeting with um, Reverend Ella. I say, <gasps> He will literally walk up and down at least three times and we'll have to calm him down before he goes for the meeting. So, Reverend Abner, wherever you are, <laughs> congratulations, please. Happy birthday, vote of thanks, and then we're out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so emotional and just overwhelmed today. It's been a beautiful, a beautiful day. Um, thank you so much to everyone who came out and just took time from your day to come in fellowship with us. I really appreciate it. Um, there's so many people that I want to thank. I can't even, in fact, I'm not seeing anything right now. <laughs> I'm just about, there are so many, uh, Deaconess Caroline, um, Deaconess now have been so supportive over the years with the music ministry and I remember from the first concert we did 2011 and gosh, so many people, Reverend Perpetua, Bishop Abigail, I can't even name all the names. I, those who have shown me kindness, those who have just been decided, those who have just decided to be good people, you know, it's just my heart is so full. I'm so grateful, uh, of course, to Papa for just taking care of me. <laughs> He's the best dad. I mean, he goes above and beyond. You know, I mean, you know. So I can't can't thank Papa enough. My family. Elsie still taking care of me like I'm a baby, and I have to tell her, look, I'm 40 years old now. Can you stop? And she can feed me, guys. She'll still feed me. And my just the family, everybody. I mean, the bishops, you've all taken me, like your daughter, Bishop Nyako. Bishop Nyako, if Papa says you are praying at 6, and where that 6 a.m., 6 p. Where, where you are in this world, Bishop Nyako will track you down. Archbishop said, we are praying, so I'm here. Let's pray. And, I mean, he has not changed since I was born. And God bless you so much. Now he's, you know, praying for the children and they are, it's, guys, it's not, Bishop Nyako is coming, Bishop Nyako is coming. Wait. So I'm just so grateful, you know, <laughs> Bishop, we love you. Uh, we, just everybody has just been so, so kind and, you know, just opened their hearts and I'm just very, very grateful for all the love and, um, oh, Rosie is here. Wow, I didn't see you. My cousin Rosie, Papa Rosie is on the back. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. And gospel, everybody. Oh, Dr. Lee. Wow, I'm so just happy to see everyone. And thank you for coming to celebrate. I know we are hungry, so. <laughs> so let me wrap it up. We'll just do some, uh, Bishop Nyako will come and close us. And then during that, we have some praises. I know the children still have one more song that they didn't do so they can they will also do their performance during the praises time and it's just a time of fellowship and you know food pictures and um just thank you so so much for all the love that you've shown over the years god bless you and pour and replenish you for everything that you've poured out amen amen thank you
So please, uh, can I welcome Bishop, oh, oh, Bishop Nyako to give us a closing prayer? Oh, and sorry, Bishop King sends his apologies. He had an emergency in the family he had to attend to. So he sends his apologies. He couldn't be here. He was trying to make it from another region, but it was uh, quite a serious situation that he had to attend to. So he sends his apologies. Thank you. Ezekiel 25 and 28. Ezekiel 12, 25. King James, let me tell you King James. He said, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. Okay, let's leave the other one. Go to 28. Say unto them that says the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, says the Lord. Father, we give thanks for you watching over your word to perform. Let all the prayers, the impartation that the Archbishop gave to Ella stand before you as a memorial, bring them to pass in her life. And everyone present here, whatever you have said about them that they have no idea of, they are all before you. Watch over them, bring them to pass. Let your people know that you are God. There's none like you. Let your people celebrate your goodness. Enjoy this your goodness in the land of the living. Let this blessing come upon your people and overtake them. Let them experience your goodness in the land of the living. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you, favor you, help you, and give you advantage in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, everybody gets a package. Uh, respectfully, we'll have a dance performance and then the high life also. Uh, the band will take us through. But please, enjoy yourself. Thank you very much uh, for coming. God richly bless you. DJ, the song for the dancers, please.
please, respectfully, we can go to the table. It's a cocktail, so please um, head to the food table. Any pick is yours. Thank you very much for coming. God richly bless you. Good afternoon.